light shines on The Spirit helps me guide my way I know this ain't just me I'll walk strong But this time I won't be afraid I know this ain't just me No, this ain't just me Hello, welcome. It's Amanda from Silver Arrow Tarot. You may not recognize it because we have a brand new setup. I have this gorgeous new table and I'm super excited. I think it looks really beautiful. So today, I'm sure you're just wanting to get into it, but had to acknowledge that. Today is all about the question we'll be asking, what do strangers think about you? So we're going to be looking at how strangers perceive you and these are people that you may not even have talked to or the people who just, you know, you pass in the grocery store, um, people that you meet at a class or, um, you know, at a seminar or a lecture or going to a yoga class or <laughs> whatever it is that you're into, just uh, how people, you know, snap judgments, how they're perceiving you. So. Please don't take this as like, this is how you are, but this is just how people are perceiving you, right or wrong. This is just how it's coming across, how generally people are seeing you. So that's what we're going to be looking at today. We're going, we have four decks that I'll be using for each pile. We have the Aset Egyptian Oracle cards. We have the Faceted Garden. We have the Intuit cards. And they're all, uh, there's a lot, a lot of them. I think there's like 132 or something. But they give good information and clarity. And then we have the White Light Oracle. So those are going to serve as your intuitive hit. And uh, just take a few deep breaths and choose which pile which deck um, appeals to you the most. So pile one, pile two, pile three, or pile four. Those are your options. I'm gonna light a little bit of sage, or sorry, <laughs> sage, a little bit of um, Palo Santo stick here. And we're just asking you to cleanse the energies, cleanse your energies, cleanse my energy. All right, so I will see you in your pile. Bye. Welcome, pile one. Welcome to your reading. I can already tell you guys are a powerhouse, so we're going to get right into it. First, I do want to mention that I am trying to get 200 subscribers, so please um, give this a thumbs up, a like, and go ahead and subscribe if you liked my videos and you like the messages. Um, really, really hoping to get these videos out to more people. And I do have uh, a deck that I've created of my own, so please go check that out in the links below. It's called the Wellness Oracle, and I need to get at least 10 pre-orders in order to go ahead and order that um, from the publisher. So go check those out, and without further ado, we're going to get right into your messages. So first card you have is a diamond and it's the number one and this is well this is the sign of Aries so it says diamond creative force faithfulness value perfection brilliance commitment light purity esteem unconquerable force multi-dimensional multifaceted invincible uh, invincible spiritual power so right off the bat like I said you guys shine like a diamond people do notice you that is for sure we have cancer constellation and this says network support associates 
gathered, meetings, socialize, organization, arrangement, a collection, exchanging data, influence, in connection with a large amount or quantity. So I, I'm seeing right away that a lot of people might see you around your family or around community. You're very um, connected to, to, to a social group. And for some of you that is family oriented because Cancer is the zodiac of home and family. All right, so we have number 28, Paf or Faf, however, however the Egyptians might have said it. Um, it says alchemy and creation. And we also have for you, neck bets, protection. And then from the faceted garden, we have flame. And we have summer. All right, and then your final cards, we have 34, Sacrament of Extreme Unction. We have Tantra of 639 hertz. And we have, I love to see this, Bear Spirit of 396 hertz. Okay, so how do people perceive you? How do strangers think of you? So strangers um, definitely notice your star power. They definitely notice um, your your light. You may be an, you might be an Aries or a Cancer. You don't have to be. Um, you might be a fire sign, um, Aries, uh, Sagittarius, and what's the other one? Aries and Sagittarius, and. Leo. <laughs> How could I forget Leo? So you might be a fire sign. You might have been born in the summer. However, the biggest thing is you guys definitely come across as someone who's quite sociable. Uh, I, I'm hearing laughter, so I feel like you, um, people notice you on the street or in the store because you're always, you're kind of, uh, you know, you're laughing, you're joking, you're playing around. You're very um, gregarious. At least this is how people are perceiving you. You might say, no, I'm not like that. But like, this is how people see you. So maybe you kind of, maybe maybe you put on this happy face when you go out. Maybe you um, don't try to burden others with, with um, your neg any negative emotions. So I just feel like people see you in a very positive, positive way. I feel like you're a very warm person. They notice your warmth. They notice your strength. They notice that you're around people. You like you tend to be around with a lot of people, so they might feel that you're very well connected as a person. Um, you might like gatherings, so you might people might see you out a lot at gatherings, or you might have a large friend group that you always hang out with. But it is very attractive to people. The other thing that I'm getting is that you guys, I hate to break it to you whether you think so or not, but you're really hot. <laughs> like, there's a lot of heat. There is a lot of heat. And with this Tantra card also, just it, you you have a, um, a sexual energy, you have a sensual energy that people do definitely notice. You might have a great sense of style and people pick, you know, see uh, notice you because of that or you just have a way of presenting yourself when you're out and about that does draw attention so and i also feel that people perceive that you're rather protected so this friend group might or the people that you hang out with or you go do errands with tend to maybe you don't even recognize this but they tend to gather around you and sort of protect you you're sort of the center you're sort of the glue um i feel like <clears throat> there's a lot of imagery here of like constellation and and solar systems it's like 
you are definitely in the solar system, but you might even just be the center of the solar system. It's like this, you're this core of the, your social group. Um, so that's how people are perceiving you. They also perceive you as a very creative person. Like, like I said, I was picking up on, um, someone seeing you as like, you have a great sense of style or you do your makeup really beautifully or if you're a guy you're just very well groomed put together um <clears throat> you might have a nice car <laughs> i do feel that you have a you have an energy about you that whether whether people are spiritually minded or not or they have, they know it or not, they're picking up on a high level of attainment that you have achieved of your spiritual, um, on your spiritual path, on your spiritual growth. You, you radiate a certain energy that people can pick up on, on a subconscious level, that you are kind of evolved, spiritually advanced, um, and the other thing that people are really picking up on from you is that you have a, a mom, mama bear energy. Um, so like, again, I, either this goes along with this protection energy. So for some of you, it's like other people are very protective of you, but also I feel like for a lot of you, you're kind of a mama bear protective energy. You protect your energy. You put, you protect, you're very protective and loving and caring about others. You, you want to um, be very protective of other people that you love and care about. So I feel like you take care of those that you love. And people tend to notice that. Like, even if they don't know you, it's something that they tend to see about you. Maybe you uh, go to the farmer's market once a week and pick up flowers for your girlfriend or partner. And people just think, wow, that person's just really caring and loving person um i do feel like you alchemize any space that you're in and make it more positive and make it bring your light to it i feel like you have your own orbit you have your own um what's a good way to put this like you have a magnetism you have you sh you set the tone you don't let others set the tone for you you're also very multifaceted, and um, so I feel like you have a lot of different sides to you, and I think that people pick up on that easily, even if they don't know you that well. But definitely, you know, you have a, a magnetic energy to you. You have a spiritual um, magnetism to you. People sense that you're well protected and that you like to protect others. You just also just bring lights to any room and it's like when you when you come into a space it's like the sun comes out behind the clouds and you change the energy of that space all right guys that's all i'm seeing for pile one thank you so much for being here and uh, thank you for spending your precious time with me if you do need more personal um, guidance or messages i do offer personal readings so check out uh, the description box below to get in touch with me and i will see you again very very soon bye guys welcome to your pile pile two and welcome to this reading this is going to be all about what do strangers think about you what do they perceive about you? And just quickly, before we get into it, I just like to let you know that I am trying to make it to 100 subscribers on this channel so that I can continue to bring these messages to a greater, wider audience who needs to hear them as I channel them from spirit. This is not an ego boost. I just want to get these messages <laughs> from spirit out into the world so please make sure to like and subscribe if you're not already and i also have a wonderful new project passion project that is a oracle deck that i have created 
and I'd love it if you go check it out. It's on Etsy. It's in the description box below, and I'm getting pre-orders um, ready so that I can order it from the publisher. So that being all said, we're going to get right into it. Pile 2, some very interesting cards out for you. Right away, I'm seeing, though, that you have, even if you are a masculine um, or identify masculine, or non-binary, there's a feminine healing energy that comes from you. I feel like a lot of people are picking up on a very feminine healing energy from you. They all are also feeling, whether they know this on a conscious level or not, I feel like this, a lot of this pile is speaking to how people perceive you, like maybe not so much like physically um, per per perceiving you, but on an energetic level. I do feel like people are picking up on the fact that you're a healer, and I hate to use this word, but a wounded healer. I feel like you're going through something or have recently gone through something. It, we do have the card of happening right now. So I do feel like for a lot of you, you're going through a healing process right now, which is causing you to awaken to your spiritual gifts more because this card... Dakini of Infinite Light is all about the spiritual gifts. So that's sort of what I'm seeing right off the bat. I forgot that I did not introduce you to any of these cards. So you do have Ankh, Energy Healing. You have Karma of Cthulhu from the White Light. We have a Dakini of Infinite Light. And we have Darva Parta. These cards are just so beautiful to look at anyway. So we have Matt, Cosmic Justice for you. And then from the Faceted Oracle, we have Pollinator. We have Winter. And then we have your final two cards happening now in spring, new moon, maiden, within one to three months. Happening now, this situation or event in question is occurring right now. So, yeah, for a lot of you, I feel like it's happening right now where you're going through kind of a dark night of the soul or just some kind of um, intense initiation type of experience. That is somewhat difficult, um, but it's helping you heal or it's helping you helping you to um, tap into some hidden abilities, um, energy healing abilities. But I do feel like people are picking this up and they're picking up that you're going through kind of a winter period, like an internal experience you might be... Um, like just not socializing as much uh, as you used to you know with this butterfly here it makes me think also of transformation this is the phoenix card rising from the ashes so something is being birthed from the ashes you might be you know going through a divorce or a separation or you might be moving out of your parents house or you might be finishing college or you might be starting college or you might be there's just some kind of a big transition you might be moving cities um and i feel like that's somewhat evident in your energy field or in your in the way that it comes across um so you might not be feeling as confident as you usually do or you might not be um, as outgoing as you usually are. Uh, you might be not, you just might not be going out as much, period. <laughs> but I feel like there's some kind of justice, um, karmic justice coming for you. And that this is all like part of a, a, a balance or a scale of balancing of the scales. And an, and an up leveling. Because it's, it's interesting to me that you have both winter and spring here. And I feel like 
this um, is going to be a bit of a rebirth. And I feel like people are, are picking that up. That you're going through a bit of a healing journey, a rebirth, a kind of a hermit period before you reemerge as this butterfly. Um, so whether this is people that you know just casually on social media or Facebook or whatever it might be, um, that's sort of how people are perceiving you right now at this time. You are... You are a seeker, you are a healer. I think that people really see that about you, um, that you you are someone who goes deep and goes, yeah, goes really, really deep within your healing, own healing process. And I think people also kind of admire that about you, that you um, really take your healing very seriously and you go at it full force and you allow yourself to go where you need to go, go to the depths that you need to go, because you know that there's hidden knowledge and wisdom there. And once you find that knowledge and find that wisdom, you like to share it and you like to give it to others. So it all has a, a grander, grander, bigger purpose. So yeah, that's, I know that's not as much about how people perceive you, but that's what you're going through. And I feel, feel like that's even, even strangers can kind of sense and perceive that this is something that you're going through right now. And I feel like people are giving you kind of space. I feel like people are giving you a lot of grace and hope and, you know, hopefully giving you, <laughs> hopefully giving you space and grace. I, I think that that's what these cards indicate to me is that people are, Realizing you need a gentle touch right now. All right, I think that's all I'm seeing. Yeah, you're just that you're just going through this period of transition and growth. So I send you so much love, and I know <clears throat> that the, these times can be um, these times of growth can be painful and challenging, but I hope that you can take some comfort and. Um, cards here that are showing me that within one to three months this is going to resolve and you're going to be feeling renewed you're going to feel like a maiden you're going to feel fresh and ready to take on the world again and then share your knowledge and your wisdom and the things that you learned from this period with others all right I love you guys so much. Thank you for joining me. If you do need more personalized guidance, I do have personal readings available. Until then, I'm sending you so much love, and I'll see you again later. Bye. Hello. Welcome, Pile 3. Welcome to your reading. All right, so we're going to get right into it, but just a little announcement before we get started. I am trying to get to 100 subscribers so please make sure you like and subscribe to get this video seen by more people because I'm trying to get my my team <laughs> on the other side we're trying to get out get this message out to as many people as possible so go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button to help the channel out if you enjoy these readings all right and I also have a really exciting project it's called the Wellness Oracle. It's a, de a deck I designed and made all by myself. And it's um, available for pre-order now on Etsy. So go ahead and check it out in the description box below. All right, so let's look at why do, uh, sorry, what do strangers think about you? We're gonna take a look at how people perceive you. All right, so first cards out we have Kenem, Creator Gar God, and Nuit, Stars and Timing. And then from the White Light Oracle, we have Pearl of Sharo. I just love those cards. We have Yesh Togal, 333. So 333 three, three could be significant to you. We have Sarcophagus Initiation. 
and we have set challenges. So remember guys, this is just how people perceive you, whether it's right or wrong, this is just how people are seeing you. Um, they're snap judgments of you. We have broken vase, hardship, misfortune, trial, overcome, crisis, uh, two steps back, change of state, grief, fix it, opportunity, pressure, burden, destroy, adversity, accident, disappointments, and setback. Number five, and the astrological sign of Taurus. We have mineral realm from the faceted garden. We have lotus and we have weather and then finally we have pillory open dishonor humiliation finding fault punishment abusive shutdown caught public ridicule and mockery nowhere to run censure serving time and vulnerable Number five, Aquarius, and we have number four, Leo, family, loyalty, faithful, allegiance, parents, children, siblings, fidelity, commitment, trust, affection, support systems, origins, tribe, dependable, sincere, kindred spirits. So right off the bat, I was feeling for this pile that you come across as someone who's quite complex and complicated. Um, to those who don't know you well, maybe you are, maybe you're not, <laughs> but that's how people perceive you. You also come across um, as someone who is not afraid of the shadow side of things. So you might like to dress in darker colors. You might like to, you might indulge in some kind of a goth type style. Um, if not, it's fine too. It's just that people are picking up and perceiving from an energetic, from an, from an energy standpoint that um, you're not afraid of the shadow. So whether it's with your humor, whether it's um, what you just are drawn to, what your aesthetic is, people are picking up on that. All right. The other thing that <clears throat> people... Um, pick up on with you is that you're very um, earthy and you like things like crystals and um, you might be drawn to nature spirits, the earth realm. I feel like people, this might just be from purely from your aesthetic, but that you like kind of like more witchy or spiritual things and that's sort of like something that you really in, are into or you like maybe it's maybe it's the decor in your house or your car or something um people picking up on the way that you like to decorate even the exterior of your home maybe your neighbors <laughs> maybe your neighbors notice um <clears throat> for some of you all right so the other thing that i'm really getting with this ram card here you have taurus and you have tiger is that you're kind of a stubborn person i don't mean that in a bad way i just feel i just mean that like you're a very persistent person you don't give up you do have some you know cards here that indicate challenge so you have set challenges you have the initiation card um along with pillory and broken base so this is telling me that people do whether they know this from factual information or just from energy um, that you've had some challenges in your life if you had some maybe even fa family um, hardships in your life maybe you don't get along with your family anymore maybe you don't have a good relationship with them maybe you just had a tough upbringing maybe you came from you know you know what they what do they say the the wrong side of the tracks so to say or like um yeah like just you've had a lot of misfortune or some trials to overcome in your life and you might be 
maybe the maybe the reason that people pick this up is because you might have um a way of deflecting any kind of small talk about like your family or something maybe you avoid talking about them um for some of you i feel like this is just p simply purely um because maybe you just have a kind of an aesthetic that maybe you like maybe you have a lot of tattoos or piercings or something and maybe so maybe people just assume this about you that you've had a tough life um, and maybe you haven't but um yeah, that's that's how people are sort of picking up uh, your vibe. I do feel like that you, um, yeah, like I said, this 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 Lotus card <laughs> is telling me that you know people do pick up on your depth and your um, spiritual energy too, like. I do feel like you have a, a an energy that makes people feel like you have some connection to spirituality. Maybe maybe you have a lot of past lives, you know, with like being a um, spiritual master or something. I do feel like that people do pick that up about your energy. And it just talks to me about this um, energy of strength that you do have. Um, the ram and some of these other cards, like especially the tiger, just tell me that you are, you come across as a very empowered person. So if you have had some difficulties and people are accurately um, picking that up, they also pick up equally that you are quite a, quite a strong person, a resilient person who's um, overcome a lot of things, overcome a lot of, a lot of hardships, maybe in your early life. Um, because we do have this card of family here, um, support systems, tribe, kindred spirits, loyalty, faithful, allegiance, parents, children, siblings. So I do feel like in some way, shape or form, they're picking up on some, something around you overcoming hardships in your life. Maybe you've gone through a divorce. Maybe you um, are a single parent, things like that. Um, people are picking up on that and they're really admiring that about you, that you have gone through all these challenges and you still are so strong and so poised and you still have, um, you have this, still this shininess because you have pearl. You still have this, um, beautiful luminescence to you and I think that people really admire it and it, and it, it draws them in. Um, and like I said, I feel that with this weather card, um, that you do come across to others, maybe that you have, I don't know, what's a good word for it? It's like, mercurial I guess I would say um so you do have a mercurial energy to you 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 do people perceive you as like switch very easily switching moods um you go with the flow you like change with the tides it's like a moment to moment thing um so that is intriguing but it's also like something do people do notice about your your energy and that your your vibe does shift a lot very quickly and they pick that up all right is there anything else i want to say for you pile three i think that is all just that you have you do like i said you're not afraid to express yourself and like go to ne more negative emotions. Maybe you have no problem talking, you know, expressing anger, showing anger on your face or sadness or grief or hurt or disappointment. Um, so that's, I think, where the mercurial energy is coming in. Um, but, you know, with Aquarius here, I do feel like you do have a good 
like you do have a good awareness of it and you do have a good handle on it it's like you can see you you see this about yourself as well so that's all i'm seeing for you pile three thank you so much for joining me if you do need more specific messages please check out um, my email in the description box below and go ahead and hit me up for a personal reading if not i will see you again very soon and another reading all right love you guys bye welcome pile four my final pile of the day welcome to your reading this is all about what do strangers think about you and before we get started i'm going to just make two quick announcements one is that i have i'm trying to get to 100 followers so please check out if you haven't subscribed please go ahead and check um subscribe so that these videos can get shown to more and more people and get my messages out there and my spirit team wants them to get out there into the world so go ahead and help out of the channel and number two is i have this beautiful new deck that i have just created it's an indie deck and um i am promoting it and um you can go order it, pre-order it on my Etsy site. It's really cool. So go check that out in the description box below. I'm going to leave a link. All right. So pile four, let's get into it. How do people, how do strangers think about you? First off, very clear, very loud and clear here, guys. You guys are very unique and very different. So <laughs> that is very, very clear that other people notice this uniqueness about you but we're going to take a look at each of the cards <laughs> and then i will interpret so we have Ra, so the sun god Ra, creative power that's your first card and then we have the sun as if we weren't obvious enough thank you spirit the sun of 417 hertz sun sun all right beautiful Beautiful, beautiful. So we have Shaktipat, a seahorse. Very unique creature. And then we have... Ooh. And then we have... Syrian star. 39 star blessings. So a lot of celestial bodies going on. <laughs> We've got Intertwined from the Faceted Garden. Oracle, and we have animal allies, and then finally we have corset held together, boundaries, restriction, prim and proper, following rules, structured, buttoned up, perfect posture, holding it together, support, shape shift, people pleaser, and that's number four, Aquarius. We have number eight, Leo hot air balloon balance uplifting freedom going with the flow rise above don't resist new perspective untouchable defying gravity continuous flow ascension view elevate feel good you also have very likely at this time or such uh, the situation or outcome is likely to occur and we have Aries, number four, celebration, ceremony, party, gatherings with friends, family, honor, remember, recognize, commemorate, graduation, anniversary, wedding, prom, birthday, and awards ceremony. So, like I said, people, right off the bat, they see that you have a very powerful light that you shine and you're very unique and very different from other people that they see and they encounter you definitely generate your own light so like the sun does not it generates its own energy it generates its own light so you don't get your energy from other people you get your energy from within yourself you you generate your own ideas your own you're very um, groundbreaking and unique in that manner um, you might be a fire sign maybe you're not leo sag aries um, but if you're not that's totally fine the main thing is that you just have this star quality you have this star power with the syrian star so for many of you in this reading this is 
about the fact that people see you as like someone who could be famous one day or who is famous or has a star quality, a star power about them, you just radiate that energy that you um, are somebody that a lot of people want to get to know. They want to they want to bask in your glow. <laughs> they want to bask in your energy. They want to be around you. You just warm people up with your energy. So the other thing that people see about you is that you have um, a way with animals or and that you just have um, a charisma and an anima that's like the the anima and animus you have an anima energy is like an animal magnetism a charisma that people pick up on um so that's really really prominent in this reading you definitely have this energy that people feel like you're going places you're going somewhere <laughs> you know you're on the rise you're on you're on a, a path to success to in whatever field that you may um aspire to so like that's something that people notice right away uh, you have a genius you have an you have an intelligence you have a beauty you have a, a look you have a you have something different to offer and people really pick that up quite strongly about you because that's like the majority of what these cards are talking about um you do have it like with entwined and animal allies i just really do think that you have a, a charisma an animal attraction you have a sexual energy that people pick up on right away you have maybe you just have a really good sense of humor or <laughs> something that just draws people in uh the other thing that people pick up on <clears throat> i'm seeing that people definitely hey notice your your physical appearance so you might have a very shapely body if you're a woman or if you're a man you have you know you take care of yourself physically um you have good posture that's another thing that a lot of people notice about you is that you hold yourself um really well and confidently and so that's something that people pick up on um and gives an extra oomph to this radiance that you shine all right some of the things that other people that people do notice about you though is that you I guess this could kind of go two ways um but I'm thinking for most of you it's that you do have a, a strong sense of boundaries you you give off this energy that you don't you're not going to tolerate any kind of shenanigans and no acting up <laughs> around you and people know that they if they do that you know you're not going to tolerate it so People respect you. Yeah, they have a great amount of respect for you. And generally, people don't try to pull in any kind of funny business around you because they know that you just have this energy that um, you're not going to put up with it. You're not going to tolerate it. And, you, and you're going to see right through their bullshit if they do try to pull anything. Um, so you definitely have this energy and, and this vibe that you're very intelligent and quick-minded. So... People are not gonna not gonna mess with you in that way, <laughs> and if they do, uh, it's not gonna work. And so, your final cards here: Heart of a Loon, very likely, and Cake. Again, just tell me that people notice that you're on the rise. You're very likely to be quite well known, famous. Um, whether that's in <laughs> like in the traditional sense. It could be like, you know, famous in terms of like you write, you write a, you know, an amazing novel or you write a song that is then covered by somebody. And it's like, you know, you're, you're famous in a certain, in a genre or a circle, or you're famous in terms of like, you know, <laughs> somebody who writes astrophysicists, phys physicists, you know, um, literature or something people will know you for for something that you've 
that you contributed to mankind, that you contributed to society, that you, you know, you created, that you invented, that you, um, you invested in, you know, I'm trying to think of all the things that, <laughs> that can happen. So you have um, a vibe about you like that and people are definitely, you know, going to be celebrating that with you. So people will notice that too. Like you're definitely a celebrated person that people um, hold up as like someone special, someone who's contributed, someone who has done a lot of amazing things either within their social group or family or within the greater society. You just, whether it's large or small, you're going to have within your community or within a group some recognition or fame. And so I think your reputation is going to precede you. A lot of the times people are going to like know you even though they d you don't know them. Um, whether that's like, through social media or whatever it's people will know you people will know about you or know of you or um just your the story about you <laughs> is going to be um preceding your you know you shaking hands with someone or like you entering a room people people will know and the final thing is that i feel like you Again, going back to this um, animal thing, it's like you're sensitive to energies and you're sensitive and to cultural shifts and stuff. And so people do, do notice that you have really good instincts. And so they respect you for that reason as well. Like, you know, this person has really good ideas because like everything that they've done, everything that um, they've talked about has like come true or like... They were ahead of the curve. They were ahead of the trend. Like people notice that about you. All right, so <laughs> I feel like that's all I'm seeing for Pile Four. Thank you so much for joining me. If you do need a more personalized re personalized reading, I do have those available. And remember to give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you again very soon. Bye, guys.